Good afternoon, it's New Jersey Garden. I just wanted to do a quick front yard garden tour of the flowers that are in bloom. So if something isn't in bloom, I may pass by it and I'll come back to it in another video. Right here we have catmint. It's called Walker's Low Catmint. It's in full bloom. We will have lots of bumblebees on this plant. This is a lady's mantle, perennial, with little chartreuse flowers. It looks really pretty after it's rain. The raindrops will stay on the, the leaves. These are some Shasta daisies. They're not in bloom yet. Here is some lavenders, not in bloom yet. Here is a poppy, it's just started to bloom. Princess Victoria Louise has a really pretty salmon color with some black. This is a uh, perennial called soapwort. And we do need to mulch, uh, excuse the mess here, there's some weed barrier that I put down years ago and I need to clean that up. This is calamint, it's not in bloom yet but it will have little white flowers. Here's another poppy. More Shasta daisies, this is the Alaska variety, they grow really tall. It's very windy so I hope you can hear me. Um, I like the Shasta daisies as a backdrop to shorter flowers. This is um, blanket flower. I'll show that when it's in bloom. These are irises. I'm not sure I'm keeping them. I just planted them this spring. I'm not sure they go with everything else, but they're nice. Lots of um, seedlings popped up this year from the blanket flower. Here's a little catmint. Another Shasta daisy. Here is a plant that's pretty striking. It has very light grayish green leaves. It's called Snow in Summer. It's perennial and it blooms for about a month. Very striking plant. It's just so light with the white flowers and the very pale green gray leaves. This is a perennial that I have in another garden. Um, it's this name is escaping me right now. Um, I have this in another video. It doesn't bloom very long. It only blooms a couple weeks. I'll think of the name in a second. Um, this is another basket of gold alyssum. Just went to seed. Here's some daylilies. I do have to spray my daylilies. We have a lot of deer in this area, so any lilies that are in the front, I have to actually spray them with some deer deer stopper um, spray. Here's another catmint. This one gets really, really big. I actually have to cut my catmint back once after blooming and then again in the fall. They get really big. Very pretty. They bloom a very long time and they're deer resistant. This is Alyssa. Uh, Alyssa this is the um, annual will listen but it it will shed it it will um, drop seeds so that it will grow for the following year it's not really a perennial here but it um, it will um, spread its seed everywhere so it's, it's really nice to have it gets really big and bushy this is blanket flower this over here is Leatris it's gonna be a big fuzzy purple tall flower. There's a sunflower seedling. This is yarrow. I have three different types of yarrow in the, in the yard. I do have to mulch, so excuse the lack of mulch here. It's really needing some mulch. There's some other um, yarrow in here along with some, some more daylilies. Here is soapwort. It really is a great um, blooming plant for around the mailbox. It really is spreading this year. It's great. It's just a really pretty perennial long blooming and very very pretty pink flower and it took a while to, to start out um, planted this from seed about four years ago and it's really taking off I have a clematis that I need to stake uh, more properly it um, doesn't do so great in this location I may want to move it it just seems to um, have a little trouble over here it's um, Maybe I need to have a little more shade in the bottom. They say that clematis does better when you have the roots shaded. So if I put some of the soapwort closer to the roots, it may do better. 
Here's another lavender. There's Coryopsis mouse ear. I have that in the front. Some more daylilies mixed with some yarrow. And here are some peonies. I'm really excited about these peonies. I actually um, bought these peony um, plants several years ago and it took a couple years for them, for them to bloom. It's very windy today. Um, a lot of these varieties don't have a scent, but look how pretty these are. These are just really gorgeous flowers. They're in full bloom here. There's eight, eight plants. I think there's four different varieties. I'll just walk around and show, show you them. This one back here is called a double, it's a double bloom, and it's mostly white with a little bit of yellow. It smells very, very fragrant. So this one here looks like the ones I have in the back. It looks like the Sarah Bernhardt, but it's not as fragrant and it's not as, um, it's a little more roughly. A lot of the peonies haven't yet opened. This one is just a pale, pale pink with a lot of pollen in the middle. This is just a shorter variety. And some more darker pink ones. Just smelling them to see if there's any scent. This, I really like these dark ones back here. Um, just trying to see if these ones have a scent. Nope, there's no scent on these, but they're just so pretty. Really, really pretty flowers. I'll just take a step back so you can see all the different peonies. These are eight bushes. They were fertilized once in the early spring. We've had a lot of rain. They just seem extra um, flowery, This a lot of extra blooms this year, so maybe they just appreciated the extra water or the um, cool temperatures this spring, along with the, fertil the fertilizer must have helped as well. We just have a lot of blooms. Last year we didn't have as many blooms. I'm gonna walk around here. There's a little dogwood tree. It's very windy, I hope you can hear me. This is another sunflower seedling. This is called Jupiter's Beard. It's a really interesting perennial. I wish it bloomed a little bit longer. It's very nice. It's filling in this area. This area gets really weedy. It's very um, dry and very hot over here, and this plant is drought tolerant. This area is facing east. Some seedlings from the Jupiter's Beard have developed on the ground and I'm just gonna let them grow and spread out through this area because it's just I had other plants in here before that just kind of um, that I didn't like as much I had yellow um, tall yellow yarrow in here that just got too weedy looking so I removed it last year and um, there's more catmint it's really pretty any flowers I haven't really discussed I'll show you them in another video once they've bloomed I just um, don't want to make the video too long. So this is just our front front garden. I'm just going to walk past it one more time to show you the peonies. They're just so pretty. They look great in full sun. They do great in full sun. And I'm going to stop the video now so I can take some pictures of the peonies. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for subscribing.